insert is very similar, um, but a little bit different. So this is my third one, insert price book entries. And let me show you this, uh, I picked insert. Uh, remember the reason we have to update and insert is because upsert doesn't work with the price book entry. Um, and so we're working around that. Um, so my source again is my uh, products from SQL Server. My target um, is going to be the Salesforce price book entry, right? And again, I have two of them. And remember, we want to insert the new one. Uh, no data filter because uh, I want it all. Now, the field mapping is very similar. In fact, it's, it's the same uh, mapping that you have, right? So what you want to do here is we're inserting. So we want to look up in the price book entry object that we're inserting to and see if we can find it, right? So if it finds the ID, then it'll just skip that record. If it doesn't find it, it'll return back a null, which means I'm inserting, I want to create a new price book entry with a new ID. So this is kind of cool because it allows you to, remember we did an update and the ones that weren't there, it just skipped them. And now we're doing an insert and the ones that are there, it just skips them, right? So we're going to see all this in action. That's a pretty cool thing. Uh, and again, just a little bit of tricks uh, here um, to really make this thing work. We're trying to work around the way that Salesforce works because Salesforce is a very powerful system. Wants you to deal with lots and lots of um, different varieties of product price book entry. But the most common one that we see every day is, hey, let me just take my products and price books from my ERP system or my products and pricing, and I just want to move it over to, you know, my Salesforce. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, save this guy. And let, now let's put these guys in a task flow, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a task flow. And what a task flow does is allows me to run, run all product pricing. Um, so let's go ahead and add my task. I wanna go ahead and first I wanna upsert my product. Um, then what I wanna do is I want to update the price book entries. Right, and then well, thirdly, what I want to do is come down here and actually insert the price book entries. Right, so I put these together. I run them dependently. If I don't want to run these last two, uh, I can stop on error if there's an error there. But you know, uh, depends on what you want to do with with your setup. Now you also have a schedule, so I can say I want to run this every couple minutes and I always keep that in the sync. Or I want to run it once a day in the morning. I want to run it at night after some other process runs back on premise. Um, but anyway, this is pretty cool to be able to uh, put these things together dependently and run them together. Now, uh, you know, most people when they hear, oh, we need to integrate product pricing, they get scared. There's huge workflows, There's all kinds of stuff you got to do that makes people nervous. Um, lots of consultants. Um, this is a simple way to do it. Um, and it's all using the Informatica Cloud. All right, so we're on the third step, uh, insert price book entries. Um, and this guy's going to get finished. This is kind of neat because this is the activity monitor where you can actually monitor what's going on. If I had several different tasks running, doing different things, I could see them all right here. Um, I can also see, uh, when I have the detail view, I can see the rows process, but it just finished. So let me go back to my activity log. Uh, you can see that uh, I ran all these guys. And of course, when I tried to update, I had one um, that wasn't there, right? And then right here, right, I, I had one that wasn't there. And here I have one that I inserted and two that weren't there. All right, so if we go back into our opportunity, um, go into my products. Right now I have my three, my third part, BA3000. Um, you can see the price is set. Remember, this is kind of the price book entry. This is the product two. Um, and, and this is how it works. Now, if I wanted to go back and uh, be more creative, um, if you take a look, you know, if I go back to my product one, right, you can see here the price at $10. Remember, but I already put that on a previous opportunity, my first deal, right? So he's $10 and he's $10. So let's go ahead and change that. So, you know, inflation or whatever, we have to raise prices sometimes or lower them or whatever's going on. So let's go back in our ERP system. Let's say, well, this guy is actually now $15, right? And so what we expect to happen is it's going to update um, the product and pricing for new deals that we do, but the existing deal should remain um, unmodified, all right, which is this one existing deal right here. So let's go ahead and run our same scenario again. Uh, let's go into our configuration and our task flow. And let's go ahead and run this scenario as well. All right, so uh, now I went ahead and I uh, had the same scenario. So let's go back and check. Now, if we keep on looking at our opportunity, let me refresh this page. Um, he's still $10, right? Because it was purchased amounts still the same. 
Um, but I want to go into the product uh, detail. The list price is now 15, right? So we sold it at one, but now the list price changes, right? That's kind of the neat thing about you can keep your product and pricing in sync, but it doesn't affect the newer um, or the older opportunities, but it does affect the newer ones. Uh, and so now that's all we have for today. Um, thank you guys for your time. Um, and thanks for using the Informatica Cloud.